Hello students, welcome to Aditya Academy. I am Dr. Ragini Aroda and today we are back with the next video from chapter Arithmetic Progressions. In this video, we are going to solve questions from exercise 5.2 of NCRT. Now, as we have learned in the introductory video that an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression is a sequence or list of numbers which is obtained by adding a common difference or common constant term to every existing term. Like if I take 2, this is the first term and it has no foundation. Now, if I keep on adding a fixed term to the existing term, I will get a sequence like this. Right? So, you can see that if I take this as first term and I am keeping, I am adding 3 to the existing term. So, 2 added to 3 gives you 5. 3 added to 5 gives you 8. 3 added to 8 gives you 11. So, we can see that this sequence is obtained by adding a fixed number to the existing term. So, this is an AP. Or you can say that the difference between two consecutive terms is always same in an arithmetic progression. So, this is the basic definition of an AP. Now, in this exercise, we are going to solve how to find any number of term in the given AP. So, let me give you a recap. Uh, like if I denote A1 first term as A and then second term becomes, this is obtained by adding D to the first term. Now, for the third term, how do we find it? We find adding D to the second term. Now, replace this A2 by the value of A2, which is A plus D. You can see that it becomes A plus 2D. See here, if we add the D to, to the first term for two times, like we I am adding 3 twice to the first term, so I am getting the third term. So, this is the value of A3. Similarly, for A4, if I add D to the third term, now what is the value of third term? This is A plus 2D, then add D to it, so this becomes A plus 3D. So, just try to find the relationship between them. If we have A4, it is A plus 3D. For A3, it is A plus 2D. For A2, it is A plus 1D. So, you can see that by generalizing this relationship, we can say that AN becomes what is the number of term, whatever the number of term is, the coefficient of d is 1 less than that term, right? If I am looking for a4, I have to add 3 times d. If I am looking for a3, third term, I have to add 2 times d to the first term. So, the relationship can be generalized as first term added to n minus 1 times d. So, this is the formula for general term of any arithmetic sequence, arithmetic progression. And if you want detailed description of this, you can go back to the introductory video and see how we derive this formula. Now, by using this formula, we have to solve the questions. As I told you earlier, if we are given the first term and the common difference, we can find any other thing in the whole AP. So, in this case, the question, it says fill in the blanks in the following given table that A is the first term and D is a common difference. Now, see so this is the first part. Here your A1 is equal to A is 7. Common difference here is 3. Now, it is given that N is 8. That means the number of terms is 8 and you have to find A N. So, what you have to find is A 8. Right? Since an n is given as 8, you have to put this value as 8. So, now by writing this formula, a n is a plus n minus 1 d. a here is 7. n is 8. So, 8 minus 1 and value of d is 3. This is 7 plus 7 times 3. So, we have 7 plus 21 which is 28. 
So, so we can write that eighth term of this sequence will be 28, right? Next part is first term A1 is given as negative 18. D has to be calculated. Now n is given as 10 and a n is 0. a n is 0 means value of n is given here. So you can write that a 10 is 0. So value of 10th term here is 0. Accordingly, we have to find the value of common difference. So I write the formula a n is a plus n minus 1 d. Right? So a n for this particular question, n is given as 10. So I am writing this as a 10. According to this formula, the value of this formula becomes for a 10, n minus 1 becomes 10 minus 1, that is 9d. So the value of a 10 is given out to be 0. a 10 is equal to a plus 9d. So now write the value of a 10 which is 0 a1 or a is equal to negative 18 and this is 9 times d. d we have to calculate here. So now we bring 18 to the right left hand side it becomes 0 plus 18 is equal to 9d. So 18 by 9 is equal to d the value of d comes out to be 2. Right. Next question is a we have to find here. That means first term is not given. D is negative 3. D is negative 3. N is given as 18. And A N is negative 5. So you don't get confused here. N is 18. For this given sequence, we are just restricted to take the value of N to be 18. So you can write here A 18 is negative 5. Here d is given, you have to calculate the first term. So I write the formula for nth term. An is a plus n minus 1d. Now we have a18. a18, we are talking about 18th term of the sequence. So according to that, the formula modifies, modifies to give us modifies to give us this is n minus 1 n minus 1 is 18 minus 1 which is 17 times d right now put the values a 18 is negative 5 a we have to calculate this is 17 times d d is negative 3 so now we solve this equation this is negative 5 negative 5 is equal to a minus 51 so we have minus 51 minus 5 plus 51 is equal to a right so 51 minus 5 is 46 is equal to a so the first term of this sequence becomes 46 and you can see that this is a decreasing sequence since d is negative so the value of 18th term here is negative. This is a decreasing sequence. Next question is, first term is given out as minus 18.9. D is 2.5. And now we have to find N here. N you have to find where A N is 3.6. So try to read this question. First term is given common difference is given. Now the value of nth term is given to us and we have to find at which number this term will appear in the sequence. So n has to be found. Right. So we use the formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Now value of a n here is 3.6 itself. a is minus 18.9. N we have to find here, so we write N as N minus 1. D is 
right now we solve this further this becomes 3.6 here i am taking this negative 18.9 to left hand side so it becomes plus 18.9 and moreover i am or you can do it later also 2.5 multiplied by n minus 1 so here we get 9 and 6 15 5 1 8 and 3 11 1 12 this is 22.5 is equal to 2.5 times n minus 1. So now what we can do is this 2.5 is in multiplication with this whole bracket. So I bring it to left hand side in division. Right. So this becomes n minus 1. Now we have we can remove since the number of digits after the decimal is same in both numerator and denominator. I make it 225 by 25. So this becomes 9. So we have 9 plus 1 is equal to n. That means this is the 10th term in the sequence which is 3.6. So value of n comes out to be 10. So you can see that this only formula can solve all the problems related to any term. Next is here an is an we have to find the first term is 3.5 common difference is 0 n is 105. So without getting into this calculation look for the value of d. In the introductory video we had discussed that a sequence can be arithmetic sequence with common difference as a positive number in which we get increasing sequence, right? D can be negative in which we get decreasing sequence. Common difference, D can have positive value, D can have negative value, D can be zero. In that case, we always get a constant sequence. We say that because, see, if I start with 3.5, this is the first term. If I add 0 to it, I will get 3.5. Again add 0 to it, I will get 3.5. Again add 0 to it, it will be 3.5. So on. So you can see that whatever the number of the term be, we have to find the term which is at 105th number. In the constant sequence, all the term remains same. So without getting into the formula, we can write that A105 will be 3.5 as this is a constant sequence. Constant sequence, constant AP, D being 0. Since D is 0, this is a constant arithmetic progression. Now this is the second question. Choose the correct choice in the following and justify. So now we have MCQs and we have to solve them. Like 30th term of the AP, AP is given as 10, 7, 4 and so on. So you can read that the first term of this sequence is 10. And moreover we require D to solve it. So for that, I can take the difference between consecutive terms 7 minus 10 a2 minus a1 is negative 3 so the value of d is minus 3 a is 10 and if these two things are known we can calculate any number of term so we require 30th term here a30 right so first of all we use the formula a n is a plus n minus 1d. A is 10 here. We have to find A 30. So first of all I modify the formula accordingly like A 30 becomes A plus 29d. So A 30 we have to find A is A is 10. This is 29d here is minus 3. So this becomes 10, uh, this is 29 into minus 3 is minus 87. So we have minus 77. A30 is minus 77. So answer is 
option C, which is minus 77. Whenever you are writing your board paper, always mark the actual part, which is your right answer option, like A, B, C, or D, and write the answer separate. Next is 11th term of AP. Okay, now the AP is minus 3, minus half, 2, and so on. So your first term here is minus 3. Now we have to look for D. For D, we find A2 minus A1. Difference between consecutive terms. So that is minus half minus minus 3. Right. Minus half plus 3. So this becomes 2 minus 1. 3 to the 6. 6 minus 1 is 5 by 2. So the value of D comes out to be 5 by 2 or 2.5. Now, A and D are known. We have to find A11. So, I write the formula. A n is A plus n minus 1 D. So, for A11, it gets modified for A plus 11 minus 1 becomes 10 D. So, A is negative 3. This is D. D is 5 by 2. Right? So this becomes negative 3. We multiply this 10 by 2, so we have 5. And this is 5 fives are 25. So the value comes out to be 22. A11 is 22. Answer becomes option B, which is 22. So now in this question, question number 3, in these APs, we have to find the missing terms in the boxes. Now, in this kind of questions, you will be dealing with different type of questions where we have one or two terms given and few boxes are empty that you have to fill. So, don't uh, always try to apply the formula AN because it becomes lengthy. If you have these questions, they will be in the form of MCQs or so. So, just try to get into this. Like this is A1 and this is A3. So the gap, you, you have learned that whenever we write A1, A2, A3, A4, every two consecutive terms are at a distance of D, right? So you can see that between A1 and A4, we have three intervals located at D units apart. So we can just look for that number. Like A1 and A3 are difference between A3 and A1 is 26 minus 2 that is 24 right so the gap between these two numbers is 24 which has to be halved to get this number right so make half of 24 that is 12 add 12 here add 12 here and see if you get equidistant numbers or not so that means 2 added to 12 is 14 14 added to 12 gives you 26. So this, this makes an AP. So the gap or the missing number can be filled by the term 14. Right? Otherwise, you can use that formula also. Like A1 here is, um, A1 here is 2 and A3. A3 is 26. Now what is A3? A3 is A plus 2D, which is 26. So, A is 2 plus 2D, which is 26. 2D becomes 26 minus 2, which is 24. So, D is 12. D is 12 and A2 becomes A plus D. So, we have 2 plus 12, that is 14. So, you can use the basic thing here or you can use the formula, right? The next sequence, we are given the second and the fourth term, right? So, I am telling you both the ways again here. Now, see, this is second and fourth term. A4 minus A2 is 3 minus 13, which is negative 10, right? Again, this difference is 2D, 1D plus 2D. 
So 2D is minus 10. So D becomes minus 5. D becomes minus 5. So what you have to do is add D here. Add minus 5 here. 13 minus 5 becomes 8. Right? And like this, what should be what should be taken here so that we add negative 5? So it becomes x. So 13 minus minus 5. 13 minus minus 5 is 18. That means 18 minus 5 becomes 13. 13 minus 5 becomes 8. And 8 minus 5 becomes 3. So this is something that you can do orally. You have to look for the numbers so that this sequence is having numbers which are at equal distances. Otherwise, you can use the formula. Like I am writing A, A2 here is 13. So that means A2 is 13 and A4. This is A2, A3, A4. A4 is 3. Now what you can do is A2 is A plus D. A plus D is 13. A4 becomes A plus 3D. Always write that. You can replace A4 by A plus 3D. So this is 3. Now you have got these two equations. Equation 1 and equation 2. You can solve them. These are equations, two linear equations in two variables. So you can, you cannot add them because that will make this A and A 2A and this becomes 4D. So instead you can subtract them. Now by subtracting second equation from the first one, A minus A is 0. D minus 3D is minus 2D. 13 minus 3 is 10. So D becomes minus 5. So we had done it already in the basic manner. Now if you have to look for A1. This is D is minus 5. You can substitute this value in first equation. A plus D is 13. So A plus minus 5 is 13. So what is the value of A? 13 plus 5. So A becomes 18. So the value of first term becomes 18. And now we have to find A3. A3 is A plus 2D. A you have got 18. D you have minus 5. So this becomes 18 minus 10. That is 8. So now I have done question in both the methods. Use whatever you feel comfortable with. A3 is 8. Right. So we have found both the missing terms. Next is first term is 5 and fourth term. This is fourth term is 9 and a half. Right. A is 5. What can we write at the place of A4? It is A plus 3D, which is 19 by 2. Right. Now replace the value of A here. This is 5 plus 3D is 19 by 2. So 3D becomes 19 by 2 minus 5. Right. So the value of 3D is 19 minus 2 5s are 10. 10 by 2. 3D is 9 by 2. So D becomes 9 by 2. Take this 3 in the denominator. So this becomes D is 3 by 2. Or you can say 1 and a half is the value of D. Now we have to find A2 and A3. A2 is A plus D. A here is 5. D here is 3 by 2. So 2 5s are 10 added to 3 is 13 by 2. Right. So A2, the value of A2 here is 13 by 2. You can fill here. And 13 by 2 or you can write 6 and a half. And the next thing is A3. A3 is A plus 2D. A plus 2D is 5 plus 2 times 3 by 2. D is 3 by 2. So we get 2 reduced. This is 5 plus 3. That is 8. 
the value of a3 is 8. Right? So we have found both the missing terms here. Next is a long question. Here also, it is given as a first term is minus 4. If I want to do it already, see how many d's are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 5d is equal to 6 minus minus 4. That means 6 plus 4 or d, 10. 5d is 10, so d is 2. Right? See, uh, we can look for these intervals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 intervals are there. That means the first term and this term. This is sixth term. They are separated by a gap of 5 intervals, 5 d's. So, just by taking the difference, gap between 6 and minus 4 is 6 minus minus 4. 6 plus 4 is 10. So, we have to divide it into 5 equal intervals. That makes it 2. So, we can do it orally also. Minus 4 added to 2. So, we have minus 2. Then we add 2 to minus 2 which becomes 0. Add 2 to it which becomes 2. Add 2 to it which becomes 4. So, this is a sequence. So, it is very easy if you go by concept and if you have to learn presentation, depends. If it is an MCQ, we can fit it like this. If you have to provide the presentation, start this way. First term is minus 4 and this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sixth term is 6. So, I can write this as a plus 5d. a plus 5d is 6. Now, a is minus 4. So, this becomes 5d is equal to 6 plus 4. 5d is 10 and d becomes 2. Again, what we have to do is a2 is a plus d. So, that means minus 4 plus 2 that is minus 2. a2 is minus 2. Now, for a3 you have to write a2 plus d right or a2 is minus 2 plus 2 which is 0. a4 is a3 plus d. a3 is known 0 plus 2 so a4 becomes 2. A5 is A4 plus D. A4 is 2. Add 2 to it. So, we get 4. So, A5 is 6. So, 4. So, now we have found all the terms which are missing in the sequence. Hmm. Next, in this question, this is A2. 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? A1, A2. A3, A4, A5. Now, A2 is given to us. A2 is A plus D. So, at the place of A2, A2 is 38. So, I can write 38 here. 38 is equal to A plus D. We are not given A, neither D. Now, the next thing is A6. A6 is minus 22. A6 is minus 22. So, what is what can be replaced by A6? A plus 5D. Right? Minus 22. So, we have got these two equations in terms of A and D. When we have linear equations, two linear equations in two variables, we can solve them by elimination or substitution, whatever you feel. So, I write A plus D is 38. A plus 5D is minus 22. Now, you can change the signs and subtract the second equation from the first one. I am doing this to eliminate the value of A. Like A minus A is 0. D minus 5D becomes minus 4D. 38 added to 22 is 70. Sorry, 60, right? So, D becomes 60 divided by minus 4. D is negative 50, right? So, now we have found the value of D. We can replace 
or we can substitute the value of minus d, d as minus 15 in this equation first one so this becomes a plus d a minus 15 is 38 so a becomes 38 plus 15 a is 53 right now i can put the value of a1 here which is 53 next we have to find a3 a3 is a2 plus d a2 we already know a2 is 38 add d d is minus 15 so 8 minus 5 is 3 this becomes 23 next is a4 a4 is a3 plus d a3 is 23 add d to this so this becomes 13 minus 5 is 8 23 minus 15 is 8 so this is 8 and then we have a5 a5 is a4 plus d a4 we have got 8 and d is d is minus 15 so this is minus 7 right this is minus 7 so now we have found all the missing terms in the sequence right next question is which term of the ap this is given to you is 78 which term that means a n a n is given to us as 78 and we have to find the number of the term in the sequence that is at which number the value of the sequence becomes 78 so we have to look for n here now the formula is a n which is a plus n minus 1 d right so n we don't know and the value of an is given out to be 78 so i am substituting this value a this is the sequence 3 8 13 18 and so on so here a is 3 the first term is 3 and for d we have to look for the difference between consecutive terms a2 minus a1 is 8 minus 3 that is 5 so the value of d becomes 5 here right a is known now d is known so we can calculate anything a is a is 3 and we have to calculate d is 5 so now i take this 3 to the left hand side this becomes 5 times n minus 1 78 minus 3 is 75 75 is 5 times n minus 1. I bring this 5 to left hand side which comes in division. So we are left with n minus 1 here. This is 15. 15 is equal to n minus 1. So now we can write 15 plus 1 is equal to n. So the value of n is 16. That means a 16 will be 78 or we can say at the 16th number at the 16th place the value of the sequence will become 78 so n is equal to 16 is the right answer next we have find the number of terms in each of the following ap's number of terms means here in these sequences you are given the last term of the sequence and you have to find the number at which the sequence is ending. Again, we have to find n in this case, right? Values of a n are given. So in this sequence, a is 7. And then a2 minus a1 becomes 13 minus 7, which is 6. So the value of d comes out to be 6. The basic two things are known to us. Now here a n is 205. The value of nth term is 205 and we have to look for the number of the term. How many terms 
are there in the sequence and in which number this term is appearing here. So an is 25, an is a plus n minus 1 d. So now an is 205, a is 7, n we have to calculate and d is 6. I'm going to solve this. 205 minus 7 is equal to 6 times n minus 1. So this becomes 15 minus 7 is 8. 198 is equal to 6 times n minus 1. Right? So now I take 6 to left hand side. This becomes n minus 1. 6 3s are 18, 6 3s are 18. This is 33 is equal to n minus 1. So n becomes 33 plus 1. n is 34. Right? Next is also a sequence in which a n is given out to be negative 47. And this is a decreasing sequence. You can see that. So, A here is 18, A n is negative 47 and the value of D can be calculated by taking the difference between A2 and A1. This is 15 and a half minus 18. So, this is 31, 31 by 2 minus 18, right? So, you can already write this as 2 and a half. You can make the difference. Or otherwise, you can take the LCM. 18 are 36 by 2. So, this comes out to be minus 5 by 2 or minus 2 and a half. So, now the value of D is minus 5 by 2. A is 18. And we have to find the value of n. a n is a plus n minus 1 d. a n is minus 47. a is 18. n minus 1 times d. d is minus 5 by 2. Right. So, I write minus 47 here and bring 18 to left hand side. This becomes minus 5 by 2 times n minus 1. 7 and 8, 15. This is negative 65 is equal to minus 5 by 2 n minus 1. So now how can we bring it here? This minus 5 by 2 is in multiplication on the right hand side. So I take it to left hand side and it becomes negative 2 by 5. Number which is in multiplication goes into division. Number which is in division goes into multiplication. So this is n minus 1. This is 13. Negative 13 multiplied to negative 2 is 26 is n minus 1. So n here becomes 27. Right? The number of term at which this negative 47 is appearing in the sequence is 27. Next is check whether minus 150 is a term of the AP or not. So now in this question they haven't confirmed that minus 150 is a term at a particular number. You have to check by looking at the sequence whether this can be a member of the sequence or not. So we have to check for any a n if it is existing in the sequence. Like I start with a is 11. a is 11 and for d I am taking a2 minus a1 which is 8 minus 11 which is minus 3. I am supposing initially that it might be a term of the sequence so I am assigning it as a n. At any number this will be occurring in the sequence. Now let me confirm this with the given data. Let nth term of the sequence be minus 150. So, a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d 
is minus 150, right? A is 11, N we have to find and D is minus 3. This is minus 150. Now here, minus 3 multiplied by N minus 1. This is minus 150. 11 taken to right hand side becomes negative. This is minus 3 times N minus 1. And this is minus 161. Right? So now we have N minus 1 times minus 3 is equal to minus 161. Now I write n minus 1 here and I take negative 3 there which goes in division. Implies that n minus 1 is equal to 161 by 3. Or you can say that now this cannot be reduced. 161 is not a multiple of 3. So n becomes 161 by 3 plus 1. You can see that the value of n is coming out to be in fractions, which is not possible. 3, 161 plus 3. So, n is 164 by 3. And if you have to write in fractions, 3, 5, sir, 15, 1, 4, 3, 4, sir, 12, 2. You can write n as 54 times 2 by, sorry, 164 by 3. 3, right, 2 by 3. So we have 54 2 by 3. Value of n is coming out to be in fractions, which is 54 whole 2 by 3. And we know that n is, represents natural number. n represents natural number. It is the number of term. So it cannot be in fractions. And if it is coming out to be in fractions for this particular value, that means this number cannot be a sequence. In this sequence, minus 150 is not a term of this sequence, of this given AP. See, AN represents, AN represents the term at a particular number which is N. And N represents natural numbers only. We cannot assign negative value or 0 to N. N represents natural number. Natural numbers are not in fractions. So, this is not possible. Right. Find the 31st term of an AP whose 11th term is 38 and 16th term is 73. Find 31st term. You have to find A31 of an AP whose 11th term. 11th term is 38 and 16th term is 73. Now, in such questions, you can make two linear equations from these two given values. A11 can be written as A plus 10D, which is 38. A16 can be written as A plus 15D. Now, we had learned that An is A plus N minus 1D. So, if it is 16th term, the value of d, the coefficient of d will be 15. So, a plus 15d is 73. Now, for these two linear equations, we can simply eliminate a from them by subtracting one equation from the other. So, I am subtracting second equation from the first. So, I have changed the signs of all the numbers. This is a minus a0. 10 minus 15 is minus 5d. And this is 13 minus 8 is 5, 6 minus 3 is this, minus 35. The value of D comes out to be minus 35 by minus 5, that is 7. So the D is 7 and we still don't have A with us. So what we can do is put this value in equation 1, right? Putting D in 1. So, I write a plus 10 times 7 is equal to 38, right? So, a becomes, this is a becomes 38 minus 70. 38 minus 70 becomes 
10 minus 8 is 2, 6 minus 3 is 3. So this is negative 32. Right? Now we have found A and D both. So now he is asking for find the 31st term. 31st term. 31st term can be written as A31 is equal to A plus 30D. This is 31. Coefficient of D is 1 less than N. So this A becomes minus 32. This is 30 and value of D is 7. So we have minus 32 plus 210. 10 minus 2 is 8. Then we have 10 minus 3 is 7, 178. A31 is 178. Next question is, an AP consists of 50 terms of which third term is 12 and the last term is 106. Find the 29th term. Now here, instead of writing A50 directly, indirectly he says an AP consists of 50 terms. That means the last term N here is, N here is 50. And the last term is 106. Since the number of terms are there as 50 and the last term is denoted by 106, means the value of 50th term is 106. Right? You can see that if the last term is 50th at the number and the value of last term is 106. So you can say A50. A50 is 106. A50 is 106. And the next thing it says terms of which third term is 12. A3 is 12. Again, two values are given for the AP. From this, you can calculate A and D both. So, I am writing A50. A50 means A plus 49D is 106. Next equation is A3 is 12, which is given by A plus 2D, which is 12. So, now again, we have got two linear equations with two variables A and D. I am subtracting this one from the first one. All are positive. I have made them negative. So this becomes 49 minus 2 is 47 D. 106 minus 12. 6 minus 2 is 4. This is 94. So the value of D comes out to be 94 by 47. So D is 2. D we have got now we can put this value of D in either of these two equations. Putting D is equal to 2 in equation, let this be 1 and this be 2. So I am putting it in D, second equation. So A plus 2D is equal to 12. So A plus 2 times 2 is 12. A is equal to 12 minus 4. So, A is 8. A is 8. Now, we have got A and D both. We have to find 29th term. A29 represents A plus 28D. A is 8. This is 28 times D is 2. So, 8 plus 56, which is 64. So, 29th term of this sequence will be 64, right? So, in this video, we have covered till question 8 of this exercise. Since this is a very long exercise, we will be covering rest of the questions in the next video. I hope you liked watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.